Alright, so I wanted to show off a gift that I got from some friends. Um, this is a antique banjo that they had hanging in their building. Um, it's been a wall hanger for years, it sounds like, and hardly anybody can play it. Um, it's definitely farm fresh in that you can see uh, some of the damage to the head as well as a lot of the rust that this thing has. A lot of the patina, shall we say. Um, the tuners, unfortunately, are, are cracked almost all the way through. They're very brittle, dried out, and uh, I doubt you'd be able to see it, but the neck is completely twisted. Um, it's still awesome, and I really appreciate this Warren and Leslie. Um, I really like this. In fact, what I, what I plan to do is um, make some ban banjo-style uh, guitars or even uh, cookie tin banjos using, using five strings um, and sort of use the, the neck as a base to understand how that works and how that connects and everything else. So um, right now it is it was tuned to F. I actually got it up to F. The, it only has four strings right now. Um, they're completely rusted and uh, the bottom one is completely gone, so I've got the high string, the next one, so those four. And uh, I had it up to F, but then it sat for about a week, and right now the strings won't go any higher because of the, uh, the tuners. Uh, to, I think it's an E, roughly, so E, B, E, G sharp. Um, and I don't play banjo, and I never have. Um, I do some finger picking on a guitar or have in the past, uh, but here's something that I picked out and I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully you will see some more videos of some uh, unique instruments that this spawned. Thank you very much.